Hello you guys, welcome back to day three of my summer home tour series. Today we are going to be touring the dining room and just like the last two videos, I'm going to be going through each part of the dining room as thoroughly as I can and letting you guys know where everything was purchased from, why I might have things set up a certain way and all of that fun stuff. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this series and let's get started with this video. Now I am standing right at the front door and here is what you see right when you walk into our house. So I'm going to start right over here and work my way around the room. So the first thing that is on the right side once you walk in is this chalkboard. And I try to do a seasonal bucket list each season. You guys may have seen a couple of those um, videos on my channel, but here is our summer bucket list. And then to the side of that, we have this coat hanger cubby rack. And you may have recently seen me paint this. This was originally black and I painted it a bright white glossy color. We have really been liking the change. It just brightens up the room. So this coat rack came with the house. I'm not sure where it was found or purchased from. So we use this to kind of just store our everyday things. And then on the top here, I use this for decor. So beginning on this side, we have this really, really cute little winery birdhouse. And this was purchased from a craft store last year. And then I have this little like wine canister and I have filled it with wine corks. And then we have some photo frames. I believe all of these were found and purchased from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And then I have a wooden rustic anchor and I found that at Target last summer, I believe. And then right over here, I have a little arrangement of cotton stems. The vase is a little DIY project that you can find on my channel under like farmhouse decor ideas or DIY farmhouse decor. And then the cotton stems were purchased from like a wholesale website. I'm not too sure what website it was though. And then right below the coat rack, we have this little storage bench. This does have a rack for shoes, as you can see. It's not the most organized spot of our house. But inside of here, I keep, let me move my coffee. All right, so inside of here, I keep winter hats, gloves, mittens, scarves, all things like winter. So this is definitely really nice to have in our dining room since it is so close to our front door. And then here is the side of the wall going up the stairs. I have two mirrors. Both were found from Home Goods. They are a little bit different, um, but they have like the same glitzy, glamoury, sparkly type of theme. So this one on the bottom here is outlined in clear rhinestones. And then moving up the stairs, I have this true love begins when nothing is looked for in return wall decor. I love this piece. It's got some really pretty like sparkly details right here. Um, this I found a long time ago, I believe at either Michael's or Joanne Fabrics. And then right at the top of the stairs, I have another one of those mirrors, except this one is filled or outlined in brown, tan, and beige crystals. It's kind of like an ombre effect. And then at the bottom here, I just have this really cute little hanging picture. Matt actually purchased this for one of our anniversaries, and I believe he purchased it from Von Mar. And here's what it looks like if you were to go through the dining room into the kitchen, living room, family room area. As you can see here, I did hang some sheer white curtains and I just like the transition that the curtains provide this room with. When originally decorating this room, I really tried to stick with like a gray, white, and silver theme. And then as you can see here, we just have them tied back um, with little curtain holders. I believe I found these at Meyer. Right over here, I have this really nice eight by 10 rustic wooden um, picture frame. And here you might be able to see it a little bit better without the glare, but I found this and the matching one. Um, both were purchased from the store at home. And then right over here, I have another wall piece or wall decor, wall art. Um, this is from the store Kirkland's. And as you can see, it reads, we are truly blessed. 
This one is very similar to the one that's in my living room that I talked about. It has like a shadow box effect. The entire frame has like some distressed markings on it, which I really like. And as you can see, each letter has like a different type of um, embellishment. So right below that, I have this little, I think it's like supposed to be a plant stand. Um, this I purchased at Kirkland's and I wrote on the chalkboard area there. I of course draped some um, string lighting around it. I love the effect that the string lighting has on this piece. The thing that I think I really enjoy about using string lighting in my home decor is that you do not have to be perfect at all when placing the lighting on a fixture or a furniture piece. I just think it looks very organic, kind of just wrapped around something or just like draped on something. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I definitely never spend too much time on how I place or arrange my string lighting. And then on this, I just have a bunch of flowers. Um, most of these flowers were found and purchased from Michaels. I have a little teapot right there that I purchased from Amazon.com. And then I have a faux little rose bush. And then inside of there, I have cake toppers that we were going to use for our wedding. We didn't end up using them, but I think that they look so cute right inside of that. Um, faux rose bush and then I have a little bird that I think I found at Michael's sitting right beside there Moving on here is like a serving Table Matt was given this by one of his customers along with one of the furniture pieces in our living room They are like a matching set. I did paint this one. This one was like an oak brown and I painted it a almond or off-white glossy color. So you guys may remember that I did have a very large like bird house, glass bird house type of thing right in the center here and I recently removed that and I put that downstairs in the family room. I found a new spot for it and I just again <laughs> love how it looks without the whole piece of furniture being covered with home decor. This is especially nice having the extra space when we have guests over because we are able to put like bowls of chips or our desserts on here. I just feel like the space is utilized so much better when it is not being used for the sole purpose of home decor. So the items that I do have on here are two log slices, one on this end and one on this end. Both were purchased from Target. On this one, I have this really beautiful iridescent lamp that I found a very long time ago when we were renting our first house. And I found that at Home Goods. And then over on this side, we have that other log slice. And sitting on there, I have a really pretty iridescent picture frame that I found at Charming Charlie's along with a gold sparkly picture frame that I purchased at Kirkland's. And on the side of that, I have a really little arrangement of pink faux roses. And then in the back there, I have this iridescent vase that I purchased from Pier One. This vase matches perfectly with the light over on this side. And of course, I added string lighting to this. As you can see right in there, it's just all piled within this vase and it really illuminates the vase. And it really just shows all of the different colors that are within that iridescent look. And then real quick, here's how it looks without the lights on that are inside of it. It's still absolutely beautiful. I love how it looks both ways. But, all right, so moving down right below the top of this, we have three wooden bins. I have really grown to love furniture pieces like this because they do provide some space for home decor, which you guys know I do have a passion for. I'm just trying to kind of minimize it a little bit, um, but it also has space for storage. And as the years go on and as our family grows, we definitely need all of the storage space that we can get. And I love wooden 
bins for storage purposes, especially when the storage can't really be hidden. I just think that wooden crates or bins just provide a really nice, clean look, but also kind of hide whatever's inside. And so very quickly, here's what I have in here. I have a cake stand in this one. And then right in here, I have a three tiered, or no, a two tiered, cupcake stand along with mason jars that I take out for parties or get togethers. And then in this last one here, I have another cake stand. So I'm able to keep all of my cake stands together and neat and hidden. All right, and then moving on to this corner of the room, which seems to be quite a few people's favorite part of this room. I always get questions or comments about this oversized lantern or birdcage that we have sitting in the corner over here. So this I found at Home Goods about two years ago, I believe, and I thought that the price was unbeatable. It was only like $25, I think, and the price is really what sold me on this at first. I didn't really know what I was going to do with a lantern of this size. This is one of my favorite parts of this room to decorate each season. And so I do try to do something different in here for all of the four seasons. So for each of the four seasons, Target usually has these really, really adorable collector item birds. And these are technically the birds that were part of the Easter collection, but I just think that they're so cute and they're the only like summery, springy type birds that I have and so they just stay in here throughout the summer season. I also change the floral that is in here depending on the season. Right now I just have some coral roses right over here and some peach faux roses right there. I'm gonna open this so you can kind of see a little bit inside better. But both of those sets of faux roses are sitting in glasses that were purchased from Etsy. And then I have some ball string lights hanging in there. Again, there was no way that I could make these balls look perfect, but I think that they look really cute just the way they are. As you can see from up here, I mean, they don't look neat. They look messy, but I like that look for whatever reason. And then we do have some storage down here. I keep all of our straws in here. I always take out straws when we have company over. And then below that, we keep napkins. These always come in handy, of course. I did change out the knobs, like I've mentioned in my kitchen and living room tours. Um, these knobs were purchased from Amazon. All right, so this lantern, this ginormous lantern, is sitting on a cast iron table or stand. This I found at the store at home. And then right under there we have um, wooden S and K, which stands for Matt and I's last name or my maiden last name. Um, we just have those right down here. We did use these at the bridal shower and at the wedding. I found these three pieces from Michael's. And then here is how the back wall looks. So I have two little candle holders right here. For some reason, I cannot think of the actual name. Sconces. Um, I have two sconces right here. They have that like broken glass feature to them. The floral was purchased from Michael's. It's like a mixture of baby's breath. The sconces I found at Home Goods, And then I have two little sparkly butterflies in each of the sconces. And then right in the center there, I have this gray and white canvas that my cousin purchased for me. And then right below that and right on the side of the lantern, I have an arrangement of, again, some really sparkly and lit branches. These are plugins as well, just like the ones that I showed in the kitchen. These really sparkly like rose gold branches were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then the pre-lit branches were found and purchased from TJ Maxx. Right below that, I have this really colorful, beautiful sparkly butterfly stand. Um, this I purchased last year at the store at home. I think it's really, really beautiful, but for some reason I couldn't find the perfect spot for it. 
this summer. So I just kind of stuck it here. These curtains were purchased from TJ Maxx. They are gray and white, so they go perfectly with the color scheme. This wall originally was an oak paneled wall that we just painted white right on top of the paneling. Again, if you guys would like to see how this house looked before we officially moved in and kind of changed things up, let me know and I will show you guys the video footage I have before all of the changes that were made. And just to give you guys an idea, the changes that were made decor wise once we came into this house, this room, our dining room, actually used to be the previous owner's living room. So this room definitely looks the most different from the time that we first bought it and now. And then the living room back here used to be the previous owner's great room, which is where they had their dining room set. So it's definitely really fun to look back on the changes that have been made. But moving right along, we have this cabinet and this was purchased from Target. I love the whole style of this. It looks very, very rustic. I love the color of the wood and the finish. I just think that it is the perfect addition to this room. And again, something that I really enjoy about this is that it does provide space for home decor, but right down there, it does also give some options for storage. But starting on the top here, we have two Moscow Mule mugs that do get used, but I also really like how they look. And so they kind of serve the purpose of decor and um, drinkware. I have some bottles of wine up here that I am really excited to open up once this baby is born. I do have a little wine caddy, a wooden wine caddy that I purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then we have this huge, picture, I'm not even sure what size this is, but the picture frame was purchased from Goodwill. And then I have a little wooden S for our last name, a really sparkly Oleg Cassini um, cupcake that I purchased from Home Goods. The S came from Kirkland's. And then I have this little bird cage, this tiny little miniature bird cage. And I found that at Michael's and inside of there I have a gold pig and my Opa gave me this pig. He said that it would bring me good luck and so I keep him right in there. And then I have a sparkly set of faux flowers. Um, I love the center of these, of course. These were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then right down here we have wine glasses. Um, I have a mixture of like more expensive ones and then just regular average ones. This one and this one are Ola Cassini and they were found and purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then these like taller stemmed ones were purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. I believe they are the brand Olivia and Oliver, I wanna say. They have a very thin and long stem to them, which I really like. And then these ones over here were for the most part purchased as a set of four from Target. We did break one, and so we only have a set of three now. And then the one in the back is probably one of my favorite wine glasses because the actual glass of this holds an entire bottle of wine. It goes up to the top, but it is awesome. I was shocked when we actually put this glass to the test and I found this at Home Goods. And then right in the center of the wine glasses, I have this really beautiful lace covered mason jar. This lights up, it is on a timer though, and so once eight o'clock hits in our house, it just gives this part of the room a really nice soft glow. I of course love the lace and the rustic detail along with the little pearl right in the center of that flower. And then on the side of here, I have two sets of coasters that I have not yet used. I need to use those though. So moving down here, this part of the cabinet is pretty much dedicated to just home decor. On this side, I have a little lantern that I stuck a picture of Matt and I, and this lantern is not specifically meant to be a photo frame or anything, but all I did was tape the picture right inside of the door here. As you can see, it can be used as a regular lantern if you wanted to stick 
a candle in here or some faux flowers or something, but I just use it as a little unique photo holder. And this I found at Kirkland's. Moving along, I have this really dainty glass sign that Matt and Aiden got for me for I think my first Mother's Day. It's really beautiful, I love this sign. And then on the side of that, I have this little floral candy dish. Um, my best friend's mom got this for me for our bridal shower. On top of that, I have a little floral arrangement that I believe I found at TJ Maxx. And then on the side of that, I have our official cake topper. This was something that I personalized and purchased from Etsy. It is super, super sparkly in person. And then sitting right in front of the cake topper, I have these two little Swarovski bears that Matt purchased for us um, as a wedding gift to me. And so that little set is super meaningful to me. And before I forget, the bears were purchased from Von Mar. And this light is on a timer as well. And this was found and purchased from Home Goods. And then moving down here, I have a slimmer slot to work with here. And so not too much can be placed here. So all I have is this little love marquee. This is battery operated. I don't have this on too often. Um, this was purchased from Michaels. Here is what it looks like once it is turned on. It is really, really cute. And then inside of here, we have like dishes, um, bowls, serving bowls. I have some larger sized Moscow mules in the back there. And then I have a serving platter set on the side. It's just kind of broken down. And then I have some dishes, serving platters right over here. And then on this bottom section, um, we have two beverage dispensers over here. And then we have a little like mixture of um, pitchers right there. I love the size of this window. It is super big and allows for a lot of natural lighting in this room, especially during the evening hours. So these curtains do match with the curtains on this window. And then I'm not sure if I ever talked about these sun catchers yet, but I love these sun catchers. Here's Aiden's little face. This is obviously when he was a lot younger, but I love these because they are so sparkly, as you can see. They're very iridescent. They catch so much sun. I have them just hanging on um, fishing wire, I believe but I love that there's little pictures on each of them. So we do have quite a few of them um, sitting in front of our window to catch all of that sunlight that does come in here. And each one has a different picture on them. Most of them are pictures of Aiden and another one of Aiden and then one more of Aiden's little baby face there. So in front of the window here, we have this ottoman, and this is great for extra storage, especially when we have too many people to fit at our table. Um, we're able to kind of move all of the chairs down and squeeze this in. But I love it because of the storage feature, of course. All of the stuff that is inside of here do not get used too frequently, but they are in a location that I can easily access them if I need to. And then this ottoman was purchased from Home Goods. And then currently on the side of that, I have a huge tool set that Matt is using. Um, he's actually building a deck around our pool. And so for now, this is a fixture of our dining room. Um, but moving along right here, we have our little entry type of table. So right here, we have this silver broken glass mirror. This was purchased from Home Goods a while ago, right when we moved in here, I found this. And as you guys can tell, the broken glass feature is definitely something that kind of runs through this entire room. And then right below that, we have a light, another broken glass type of light. I have a little catch-all dish that was found and purchased from the Target dollar section. And on top of that dish, I have two little sparkly like paperweights that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then on the side of that, I have a rustic type little planter that has some faux flowers in it. This was purchased from Michaels. 
I of course love the little planter box that it is sitting in because it has a really nice rustic effect to it. This entire stand was purchased from Target.com. And then right below the top here, we have another little level. And here I have a bird cage that was purchased from Michaels. And inside of there, I have a little like cutesy type of bird's nest that was purchased from Michaels as well. And then I have a lantern with a pillar candle in the back here. Both the lantern and the pillar candle were purchased from Home Goods. In front of there, I have this really, really beautiful um, picture frame. I love the paneling effect that this picture frame has. I love the beautiful, like, watercolored flowers that are on here. And I would have to say that this picture frame is probably one of my favorites in the house. And then on the side of there, I have this little faux floral arrangement that I found at the store at home. I love this. I love where the flowers are sitting in. And I just love how wild and real the floral that's inside looks. And then here is the back of our front door. The wicker like holder that I have um, was purchased from Michaels as well as the flowers that are sitting inside. And then opening the door, we have a boxwood wreath. And this was found at Target. I love how bold and bright this wreath is. All right, and then here is the center of our dining room, finally. Here is our dining room table. It is a six seating table, and this we found at Value City along with the six chairs. Originally, these chairs belonged to a different table, but I really loved the contrast between the color of the table and the color of the chairs. And so to me, this combination just looked better, and I kind of like that it's a little bit more unique. It's not the standard set. Here you can see the bottom of the table. I am obsessed with this table. This is one purchase that I continue to love more and more each day. The center of the table runner, I have a little salt and pepper shaker that my uncle purchased for us. And then a really beautiful sparkly crystal cross. I believe this is Oleg Cassini and this was purchased from Home Goods. That and this floral arrangement are sitting on top of this wooden log slice that I found at Home Goods as well. The this beautiful white vase at Goodwill. I think of that vase, I have this faux floral arrangement, and this was purchased from Michaels along with most of my floral that I have inside of this house. We have our chandelier here. This is something that Matt installed. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, this room was originally a living room, and so there was no light fixture here before, but Matt was able to install this pretty easily. This chandelier I purchased from Overstock, and it was relatively inexpensive, especially compared to all of the other chandeliers that I had been looking at, and I think that this is so beautiful. It sparkles so much more in person than it does on film for some reason. Reason. It looks like when it is lit, it just is so, so sparkly. Um, when looking for chandeliers, I definitely recommend Overstock. They have so many different styles to choose from. And like I, I'm sure you guys all know by now how much I love my sparkle and my glamour. And so even though I did try to stick with like woods and rustic vibes for this room, I also wanted to add in some glamorous touches. So that about does it for the dining room home tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions, comments, anything, let me know in the comment section below and I will make sure to respond as soon as possible. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video where we tour the family room. Until then, take care. Bye guys.